Hey guys, welcome back to Oral Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video here, we'll be working on a BMW, guys. And if you have a BMW 7 Series, guys, this video will make it because many of you ask me in the comment section below, guys, okay, you had a specific problem and you had any of the following eight codes that you can see in the corner of the video, guys, how to fix that on BMW 7 Series. Now, it doesn't matter what BMW you have, any of those codes will relate to the same component and we'll explain why today, guys. We're demonstrating on N52 six-cylinder engine, gasoline engine but even if you have a V8 six cylinder uh, or even uh, the new BMW that uh, some 7 series come with a four cylinder engine guys we'll explain what causes that now in today's video quick introduction to the channel guys every single car we get at the shop we try to make at least two to three hundred free videos guys specifically on BMWs we make close to four five hundred videos why we guys do all that simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video so we can keep providing that free information now if you guys need to buy replacement parts or tools we will have the link shared in the description of the video below for your convenience so please check it out let me show you guys okay what we have right here now this okay this right here guys is n52 engine this is a six cylinder gasoline engine guys and if you have any of the following guys eight codes it will relate to one simple component but in order to get to those components you need to guys remove your intake manifold the whole assembly will need to come out if you want to see guys how to do that we have a video that explains it and we'll try to put the link in the description of the video below for your convenience every time you remove your intake manifold guys these gaskets right here those will need to be replaced otherwise you can develop an oil leak uh, excuse me a vacuum leak that can actually even prevent your engine from starting or even running as it should guys now that being said before we start on the intake manifold let me explain what you need to do guys you will need to disconnect your car battery simply why because you have the alternator 12 volt wire starter 12 volt wire all that goes to the car battery and you can short things out really bad now it really matters guys okay which car uh, which battery terminal you disconnect first positive or negative and which one you reconnect first so now in the, uh, if you don't know that guys we'll put a link okay in the description of the video below to a video that explains that for pretty much any car guys it's the same and that being said all that being removed you guys going to find okay we have the six cylinder engine here uh, but even if you have a four cylinder engine guys we're going to find that we have two knock sensors okay now most of the four cylinders will have two sensors as well some may have one it really depends on the uh, generation and all that stuff but yeah this one in our case it's called sensor one sensor two or uh, knock sensor bank one knock sensor bank two guys bank one and two as you know bmws guys okay uh, for the six cylinder engines okay the first three cylinders are known as bank one bank two is known for cylinder number four five and six so if you guys have a code related okay to a knock sensor and any of the eight codes related to a knock sensor 90 percent of the time you have a bad knock sensor if you don't know guys for sure if it's good or bad we have a video that explains that and how to test them so i'll try to put the link as well check it out in the description of the video below and that being said guys okay if you have any of the eight codes doesn't matter which it is you have to replace both sensors guys and you're going to use a special socket called the female stocks okay this socket right here and with the help of that socket guys you will be able to remove the bolts clean the surface underneath it before you install the new sensor and disconnect the wiring harness from right here guys you can see both of the sensors connect to one one uh uh, one wire plug-in guys so you have to replace both of them at the same time if you need to buy new ones we'll have the link in the description of the video below and see where we get ours from so hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you trying to figure this thing out thank you for watching please subscribe to our channel for more help and see you guys next time